So what is the Stockdale Paradox? What does it have to teach us about hope? And how does it fit with what Jesus shared with his disciples in John's Gospel? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always good to connect with you for a midweek message. Hope you're staying safe out there. Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas week. And may God bless you and your family in this holiday season. So do you remember the name James Stockdale? Some of you may say, hey, I think that's Ross Perot's running mate from the 1992 presidential election. Great memory. You're correct on that. James Stockdale died in 2005, but he was famous long before he became Ross Perot's running mate. You see, James Stockdale was a naval aviator during the Vietnam War. He was shot down over Hanoi and spent seven years as a POW in Vietnam there. When he was released from Vietnam and was being a, having conversations with people about his experience there, he was once asked, well, so, so Mr. Stockdale, what was the difference between the prisoners who survived, those who kept their sense of hope, and those who didn't survive? And Mr. Stockdale said, well, there were those prisoners who always believed and had hope, but they tied their hope to an event, meaning they believed, we'll be home by Christmas, and then Christmas would come and go. We'll be home by Easter, and then Easter would come and go. We'll be home by Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving would come and go. And because the events didn't line up with their hope and the circumstances were still suffering, eventually they gave up hope. And Mr. Stockdale believed in something that was later called the Stockdale Paradox. That is, there was an acceptance of the difficulty that they were in, and they still had hope, meaning their hope was separate from their circumstances. They knew they couldn't change their circumstances but they still had hope. And friends, that teaches me something. It reminds me of what Jesus said in John chapter 16 with his disciples. Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble, meaning you can't change it. We accept the circumstances and we live with the fact that sometimes life is tough. But look what else Jesus said. Take heart, I've overcome the world. Friends, this is what Jesus shared with his disciples so that they would have hope. And friends, that fits really well with a Christian understanding of hope. Our hope is not based upon circumstances or events. Our hope is not based on the fact that currently we're in a time of suffering, but we know it will end on this day. Ah, our hope is in the fact that our God has overcome. And that even when we're in difficult circumstances, whether it be a global pandemic, economic uncertainty, a relationship that just won't be healed, whatever the difficult circumstances are, we know that Jesus Christ has overcome the world. That's where our hope goes. Our hope is not based on the fact that this will be done by a certain day. No, no, no. Our hope is based on the fact that Jesus Christ has overcome the world and we trust in him, even during difficult times. Friends, that's the Stockdale Paradox. We accept what is, and we still believe. That's the Stockdale Paradox. It's also the teaching of Jesus Christ. May you have hope, even in the midst of your most difficult situations, because Jesus Christ has overcome. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season with your family and friends. I hope that God continues to bless you, and may you have hope, even in the most difficult of circumstances in your life. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.